Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Andy from wholesale-help.com and welcome to another tutorial video. Alrighty, in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do to upload an eBay template into your eBay listings. This is going to be a cracker, people, I'm telling you. It's taken a long time to put together for you, so I hope you appreciate it. Now, the reason for this is Trevor, one of our senior Wholesale Help members, asked for this tutorial. I say senior because he's one of the long-standing Wholesale Help members. Nothing to do with his age. I wouldn't be so uh, rude as to go down that road, so I'm going to not. <laughs> so I'm going to move on swiftly. Yes, yeah, so Trevor was having some issues with the HTML and getting the templates and his listings. But obviously he wants his auctions to look good and professional. And of course he turned to the one person he knows is going to hook him up. Well, here it is, Trev, my man. I know it's taken longer than I hoped to get this done, but it's going to be a much better tutorial for it. The reason why it took so long is there have been some changes and halfway through this tutorial I decided that not only will I be showing you how to do this but I will be giving away the templates I use in this tutorial for free I had them made by my designer especially for this video and at the end I will give you a link to get this template pack emailed over to you free and for nothing you're welcome so there are a few things to consider when using HTML templates on eBay firstly is the eBay search engine update known as Cassini eBay updated their search engine algorithm this year and many people have reported that their listings have suffered and were falling down the rankings as a result of this update. Now it seems to be that for some reason Cassini does not like too much HTML in the listing. It can't differentiate the HTML from the actual text content, the keywords and what you're saying about the item. So if it can't read what item you're selling and make it relevant to the listing then it's going to say it's not relevant because I can't see that it's this, that or the other. So the key here is to have the right type of template. Some people say, oh, you can't use templates. I disagree with that. If you look on eBay, there's some very major players still using templates with no problem at all. I think what it is, is you have to be careful with the type of template you use, but I'll go into more detail about that in just a second. So basically, we need to stay clear of templates with too much HTML, too much going on, too many clever little tricks and just far too much going on because you want to get your keywords and the relevant information about the item as high up on the listing as you can so that Cassini can read it, understand it and rank it accordingly. So the templates that we're going to use I've had specially built to be clean and tidy and easy to read and I even had an HTML coder who is also a wholesale help member take a look over this and he's confirmed that it's nice and clean and it will be easy for Cassini to read and understand. So you can guarantee these listing templates are going to be fine for your eBay listings. Secondly from a design perspective I would say stay away from eBay templates that are too busy, too much going on. We've all seen them, the hectic ones that are trying to promote every item in their shop all in one listing, you know? There's so much there, there's hardly any room for the actual listing info. It looks awful, it's confusing for your potential buyer, and quite frankly, it gives me a headache. Just say no, people, refrain from putting a ton of crap on your listings. It doesn't look good, it doesn't help anyone. Keep it clean, keep it simple. You know what I mean. The other reason you don't want too much going on is that most people don't read your listings. <laughs> it's a sad fact of life, people, but it's true. It's absolutely true. If you've been an eBay seller for a while, you will know and agree with me just from the sorts of questions you get asked on a regular basis. How many of you have had questions where they'll, they'll say something like, uh, do you have this in a size large? And you have to reply and say, yes, sir. It says in the listing, these are available in medium, large, and extra large. Or they'll message you and say, uh, do you have this in a blue? And you have to reply back and say, yes, sir. It says in the listing, these are available in red, blue, or green. You know what I'm saying? People don't read anything. So the more you put in there, the more they're not going to read. So what you want in your listing is succinct 
precise and you want to put in the most important things that you want them to know and leave out the stuff that is just unnecessary waffle. So with the ground rules set, let's go ahead and get into this here tutorial. Are you ready? Let's go. So when you get your templates, they'll be in a file and they will look like this. They're all the same, but I've had them made in different colors so it can suit your listing or blend in with whatever color scheme you have. So if you double click on one, it will open in a browser window like this and you can see they're simple but well laid out. I have my designer just put in a couple of placeholder pictures here to show where the pictures will go and some random text and things but all this will be very easy to edit. We've got some header bars here for your payment policy, shipping, returns, contact, whatever you want you can change this and make it how you want it. So let's get stuck in and let's get this into your eBay listings. So here we have a fresh eBay listing. I'm sure you've seen it before. This is where you put your title, condition, add your pictures and your item specifics. And as we scroll down here, marked details is where you would normally put your listing text. It's a WYSIWYG editor. You would change it like you would a Word document. We've all seen it before. That's how it works. And the, and the tabs here, we have standard and you can click on HTML, which is where the HTML text goes into. So if you're going to be following along, I suggest you open a fresh eBay listing like this and we'll be able to get started. So what we're going to be doing is taking the HTML code from the template file and pasting it into here. So let's do that right now. So what we need to do is select the color you want and right click with your mouse and select open with. And as you can see, once you hover over it, you'll be given some options and we want to choose notepad. If you have the text file option you can use that instead in this case we'll use notepad select that and as you can see it's open the template and just shows you the HTML in the template so we're going to copy this into the eBay listing so the best way to do this is to right click with our mouse in the document and click on select all now that has selected all the HTML code we want to right click again on the text and select copy so that's select all and then copy so now all the HTML code of the template is copied onto the clipboard of the computer so if we now go back to our fresh eBay listing here we are and just make sure we click on the HTML tab we don't want to be in the standard view here we need to be in HTML click in the box right click again and choose paste and now we've pasted all that good HTML into the listing. Now if we go back to the standard tab, as you can see, we've got the template into the listing. Now this template is totally customizable, just like you would a Word document. So you can click on the, uh, the store name and change it how you wish. Tagline again, just you can either select it and delete it or you can delete it as you go along it's up to you so there we are that's how easy it is you can change any of this and this placeholder text is exactly the same way put any description you want in here and the same for your shipping policy, returns policy, anything you want to put in here. You can even call this something else. You can obviously delete it and call call it something else. It's totally customizable. Now the next thing we want to do is get our pictures in here. And to do that, we need to have an image host. I use Image Shack just because it's quick. It's an easy image host to use. But there are other image hosting sites out there you can use if you wish but this one's really easy and simple it's free to get started with it and if you want to follow along with this tutorial as i go along then you may as well just sign up for this so it will all make sense i'll put the link to image shack in the description box below but if you were to just google image shack it would come up so here we are i'm logged into image shack now and it's as i said it's really simple we're just going to click on the upload button and select the file we need. Browse and upload. Select the turtle. That's uploaded. 
Now once once it's finished uploading you will have a link here and what's really cool about Image Shack is you can actually change the size really quickly like this. It will probably upload on full size and if you drop down the menu next to it you can select it as a thumbnail, small, medium, large etc. So for eBay listings medium is a really good size to fit in nicely with the eBay listing so it's 640 by 480 so if I select that the image link that I will get will automatically be altered to 640 by 480 which is really handy and really saves us a lot of time messing around with the images so if I then select the link right click and copy that link we now need to open a, another browser window whether that's Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox whatever you use open your new browser and paste that link into your browser so right click and paste or control and V if uh, you use shortcuts keyboard shortcuts so once you've copied that page, uh, that link into your browser it will come up as you can see it's smaller in the medium format now this is just a quick example for the sake of this tutorial I would actually send this to remove the background and have the background so it's all white so it looks a lot neater and a lot more professional in my opinion I'll put a link to remove the background in the description below this video remove the background uses a team of graphic designers and for the sake of something like 48 pence per image you can send it to them and they will remove the background and have it totally white and once you've got it once you can use it over and over again obviously so anyway this is the image we're going to use as an example so once we've got to this stage I want you to right click on the image and then copy image is the one I want you to select not copy image URL but copy image that's specifically the one I want you to use okay so now we've copied that image go back to our eBay listing here it is here is the placeholder images if we just click next to the images there's the cursor flashing away so you can now just delete this or backspace as it is on the keyboard the same again now we're going to leave the cursor where it is right click again and then paste and there we go we've pasted the image into the listing you could obviously choose to make it slightly smaller and have two side by side if you wish or another one below it it's totally up to you how you lay it out but that's all you need to do and there we have an example of a simple but effective auction listing template it looks neat and tidy it gives you enough information it tells you about the shipping and the returns and it gives you a good look at the item to me this is a nice clean and simple listing where everybody knows what's going to happen there's not too much information to read so it won't take too long most people will read it and you know exactly what you're going to get so there you have it I hope this has been useful to you Trev I hope that gives you a good idea of how to do it and everyone else let me know what you think in the comments as usual and of course if you would like to get your hands on a set of these listing templates for free and for nothing the link as always will be in the description box below along with the links to remove the background.com and also image shack which are the two things you will need to follow along with this video okay that pretty much wraps it up i hope you found it useful once again my name's andy lawrence thank you very much for watching and i will catch you on the very next video